Hey guys, uh, it's me, and um, the, I'm going to do something different today. So, I saw on a, a Reddit, uh, Scrap Mechanics re Reddit video, uh, somebody made a minifigure spud gun for scrap, from Scrap Mechanic. And I normally see that nobody makes Lego tutorials for anything in Scrap Mechanic. And so this is just a simple little build that was kind of easy to copy. That I just thought I might as well do a tutorial for it. Because, you know, uh, it's a simple build and uh, I know some other Scrap Mechanic players might want to build this. And so, um, there is kind of one flaw with it, which is the, um, gauge and the, uh, front pump. Uh, it comes off, but you can just, like, use some tape or something to, uh, keep that in place. But I I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna put any tape on it, because I just want it to be Lego. And so, uh, we'll move on to the pieces. So... These are the pieces you want to uh, be able to build this. So you want um, two um, tan one by one uh, plates, a uh, jumper, a uh, light gray jumper plate, I think is what it's called, a one by one tile with a uh, gauge imprint, you want a uh, one of these. You want a, um, I think they call this a joystick piece, and you want two yellow uh, cylindricals, one uh, one by one circular, one with with no hole, and you want a kind of the gun piece and the old gun pieces. And then you want a three long uh, light gray pipe. You want a dark gray handle piece. You want a minifigure neck piece. Uh, you want one of these pieces, a Technic red uh, connector piece. Um, mine doesn't have holes, but because it's a different version, but yeah, and then you want two um, of the same of these pieces, but in red. And then, yeah, that's all the pieces, so let's get the building. So, guys, um, we're at a different cam camera angle this time. And so, we're going to start the tutorial. So, you want to take your uh, jumper plate, and you want to put your tan pieces on the end like this. So that it has, like... Um, the shoulder rest uh, broom kind of impression. Can't really see it on camera, but IRL, you can see the lines uh, pretty well. And then you want to take your um, three long uh, pipe and you want to stick it in the hole of the jumper plate. You also want to grab these, this piece. I don't know what they call it. It's a Technic piece, I'm not in the Technic that much. Um, and then you want to stick it on the pole like this and leave just a little bit of gap in between the stud of the jumper plate and the uh, pipe. And then you want to take your uh, old gun. Oh, hold well, up. Stuff's, st stuff's uh, rolling away. Uh, you want to take your old um, minifigure gun piece and you want to put it upside down. And it is a this handle is a little bit too high, so you do need to point it. Um, uh, forwards so that it has that kind of um, it has that pipe like it does in the game so you want to put this backward th this will be backwards on camera but you need to have the pipe be on facing the back and then we want to put this down for now and then we want to take our red cylindrical pieces and take your uh, Technic piece and your one of your small ones and you need to stick the stud and into the end of into both ends of the uh, technic piece so like this and then stick 
one end into this end and then it'll only go in so much but if you have a light gray four long pipe that m might be better for this but it'll only go in a little bit but it'll still do its job so then we can um put this down for now and then let's take our uh, minifigure neck piece and we want to have it facing like this with the um, neck piece on this side or the uh, place where the neck would be and then you want to place uh, the dial piece like this facing in this direction and then what you want to do is put that one piece down for now and then you want to take your uh, dark gray handle piece and then slide it not underneath <laughs> and then slide it or um, put it hold on guys I'm losing pieces <laughs> and then you want to take um, that p that handle piece and slide it not on top of where the trigger would be for on the gun piece so like like right there as you can see and then you want to take one of your yellow cylindrical pieces and stick the stud end into there and uh it might take some finicking because a uh, pipe kind of pushes the handle back but you want to keep that handle free so that your minifigure can hold this if you want to make a minifigure hold it of course and then you want to take your uh technic pin with the stud end uh you can do it blue or i i think a uh, light gray would be better because um it, it just look, makes it look more realistic and then you want to take your uh minifigure neck piece with the dial and put the neck piece onto the uh, uh, tactic pin like that. It'll start rolling around, but if you lay it down, it'll be fine. And then we can put this down for now. And then um, it doesn't really matter, but you can do this either way. So you can either put your um, last two, or one of your last two pieces, ex excluding the uh, handle piece for right now can either do it this way it kind of makes it look a bit weird or you could do it uh the other way and you can put the small piece on the back or the front i think the the back when it when you put it on the back of this thing it makes it look better but it's up to you and um then you want to take your um handle piece and stick it onto uh the end of the technic pin and then uh, angle it down if you want. Uh, you c and then angle it kind of like this. And then you can stick your uh, yellow tube into the pipe. And I mean, um, it doesn't really work. I mean, it just it looks re more realistic this way. But if you want to not really make it realistic, you can flip it, and then you won't see the pipe as much. And so, um, you can uh, stick this in here, and then you won't see the pipe as much. So, um, but if you do let go, it will fall out. But, uh, if you want to, you can, like, glue it or tape it. But I'm not gonna do that, because, uh, I might need to use these again in the future. So, <laughs> you know what, honestly, I'll take that off for now. And so that was my tutorial on how to make a minifigure sized scrap mechanic spud gun. And um, let me know if you want me to do like the tote pot, because um, I bet I can find a way to do the tote pot. <laughs> tote pot, sorry. And maybe the big boss guy? I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm going to do. Uh... Wait, did I say tape bot? I think I did. Uh, I meant tote bot. Um. Yeah, the tape bots are way too hard to do. So um, I might do um, the tote bot and maybe the big red guy and maybe maybe the uh, hay bots if you want me to. So if you want me to uh, make more tutorials, just let me know in the comments. 
And uh, I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye.